So details have been revealed to what really happened to Miss Joy Morgan. Hey guys, it's Murad Murali. Hopefully you guys are doing well today. If you haven't already, please do click that button and subscribe to my channel for daily and consistent content and follow me on my Instagram at Murad underscore Murali. I'd really appreciate it. A couple months ago, if you guys even do recall, I did do a video on what happened with Miss Joy Morgan, the whereabouts, the confusion, the mystery. Why did this young girl disappear? We really had no idea. We had our suspicions and it was just that and now unfortunately it seems that our suspicions have now have now been confirmed and these are the real reasons to explain what really happened to miss joy morgan those who don't even know who joy morgan is she is a student midwife who went to university of hertfordshire she used to go to the church here now and then and she suddenly just disappeared and her whereabouts shocked her parents shocked quite a few people it didn't get wide coverage unfortunately but she had just vanished and we had no idea where this young lady had gone whether she had run somebody whether she had been kidnapped whether she somebody took her we literally just did not know at all and this was you know the mystery that caused it and I gained a bit of coverage here and there and people began to you know have the suspicions that perhaps the church organization that you know was somewhat of a cult people would say took her in and you know did something to her but a lot of people were like this can't be this can't be the reason the church can't do this you know this cult organization that people had their suspicions of couldn't do this and now reports have been confirming otherwise so a married father has been jailed for 17 years for murdering a student midwife who went to his church Shofa al Israel, who was 40, was convicted by a jury at Reading Crown Court of killing 20 year old Joy Morgan. Miss Morgan was last seen on 26th of December at a church event in Ilford. Her body has never been found. Judge Michael Saw said Israel's cruel and cowardly refusal to reveal her whereabouts caused continuing distress and suffering to her family. Sentencing Israel to life with a minimum of 17 years, the judge said, only you know the circumstances of your terrible deeds and why you did it. You are evidently an intelligent man and have said nothing beyond the lies and the explanations which the jury has rejected. In a victim impact statement read out to the court, her mother, Carol Morgan, described the Harvard University student as her shining light and my superstar. The court heard Israel had spent alone the court heard Israel had spent time alone with Miss Morgan of Hatfield, Hertfordshire in December, breaching church rules which banned women from being with men other than their husbands. He initially told police that he had dropped off Miss Morgan at her student accommodation in Hatfield after a celebratory dinner at the church, but later admitted she had spent two nights at his flat in Cricklewood in North West London. A signal from Miss Morgan's phone, which has never been found, was detected in Israel's car in the Stevenage area on 28th of December. He was most likely looking for someone to dispose of the body. Wow, prosecutors told the jury. Loved by so many. The keys to the student's accommodation were found in the footwells of Israel's car after his arrest in February. Israel, who denied having any kind of sexual encounter with Miss Morgan, had sent her a message in March 2018 calling her an amazing princess and a treasure that cannot be measured. Both were worshippers at the Israel United in Christ Church in Ilford, though Israel claims Miss Morgan had been thinking of leaving. Interesting. The jury was not told Israel had allegedly had flirtation ex exchanges with other church members before and after the student midwife's disappearance, using lineups from chat up manuals. Despite church members saying they were surprised at Miss Morgan's apparent departure, they did not report her missing. It was Miss Morgan's mother, who was not a member of the church, who reported her disappearance to police on 7th February, six weeks after she was last seen. In a victim impact statement, her mother described the student midwife as such a wonderful person, selfless, caring, loved by so many, who would have been an amazing midwife. She would always look after me when I came home after a long shift, cooking lovely home-cooked meals, she added. So now we finally know. Now we finally know the truth of this young lady who went disappearing, who went missing, and it's so unfortunate and just sad and just disgusting. It's pretty sad that obviously after six weeks of her going missing, she was then reported missing by her parents and mother because the church knew of her missing but did not say anything, thinking they can get away with it, I would assume. And now we found out that a particular individual who's part of this church, many people accused it of being a cult. Now this particular person, you know, obviously knew of the fact that Joy Morgan was thinking of leaving. If you think of leaving a cult organization that you don't want to be a part of, people will obviously have a negative reaction to it. And therefore that kind of confirms that what was going on here is kind of an infectious cult and you should be allowed to leave something if you want to. 
there should be free will. By you constraining and restraining that free will, it does become a pretty bad issue indefinitely. And this is exactly what it can lead to. We have people who are part of these particular cult groups, whether it be church groups or any other type of groups, to be honest, who like to control individuals. And we have people like him, this individual who's flirting with this girl. There's obviously always going to be a romantic link when it comes to somebody randomly missing. There's a romantic link either, or controlling link, or you know, if we're far older than this other individual, and he was actually at her flat, left the keys in the car and everything. There were so many clues. So I feel like all of this was already around anyway. So clearly there was some kind of, you know, less likeliness to be as apprehensive with these kind of cases, I feel. Because I feel like if people are leaving cars and keys everywhere and there was flotation messages that you could have looked into, I feel like more could have been done. That's all I wanted to say. But at the same time, we now know what exactly has happened to this girl. And I thought I would give you guys an update simply because I did actually touch on this particular specific issue a couple months ago. Now, may she rest in peace and may her family find peace with the news that have now been given to them in time and let me know what you guys think do subscribe click that button and do comment down below and let me know what your thoughts are on this whole issue i like to read all your comments let's open a discussion please thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys soon for another video